Welcome back. We're here with Joe Shinkuski, our Heartland career coach, to talk about the importance of side gigs. I could imagine quite a few people have them, or at least they have thought about getting a side gig. So really, what's the main benefits of having a side gig? Sure, yeah, I think a lot of people go after a side gig, obviously, to supplement income mm -hmm. or maybe to flex a creative muscle. Half of Americans have one. 70% uh, of Gen Z, which is the younger working demographic, have one. Right. And then I think projections show that by 2030, 80% of us are going to have them. So Dang. I think it's a response to the marketplace being really competitive. Costs are through the roof, so we're looking for ways to supplement. And the days of working with the same company for 40 years and then going off on the yacht uh, to retirement are just not realistic right now. Right, and so how can someone balance a side gig if they already have a full-time job? I know some people are probably like, there's no possible way that sure. I could even do that. Is it possible? It is, yep, as a proponent of side gigging, I yeah. think it is possible. Uh, it's really, it really comes down to communication. You mm -hmm. know, I think you wanna be upfront with your regular employer. Right. Uh, not that you owe them all the explanation, but mm -hmm. you know, as your side gig becomes more popular, you're probably gonna get a little bit more visible. So yeah. you don't want your boss coming up to you saying, Elena, what are you doing? We need you to focus. Right. So being uh, open with them and then open with your friends and family, because inherently a side gig means uh, you're gonna be taking time away from them. So the more people you can have on your corner, the better and the more successful mm -hmm. it'll be. And you know, I feel like growing up, some things that I've heard is that you shouldn't just rely on one source of income. You should always have a, a backup source, whether that be a side gig. I've heard people getting into like real estate. Sure. And so, you know, there's the importance there of making sure like, you, you never know if your full-time job is Correct. going yep. to lay you off or yep. something catastrophic happens. So having those side gigs, that just proves to be even more beneficial. You know, what type of side gigs are beneficial for career growth? I could imagine that there are some that really could help elevate you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so in the communications field, you see mm -hmm. a lot of freelance writing, freelance yeah. communications. I've seen leadership coaching uh, jobs kind of pop up on the side for people who are good at motivating mm -hmm. and mobilizing people. Um, I've seen real estate, like you said, become kind of one of the top three right now in yeah. terms of revenue generators. Uh, all these smaller real estate firms are popping up to where you can be a freelance real estate agent right. now. Uh, you can do showings on nights and weekends and you can make pretty good commission checks. Mm -hmm. I've seen dog walkers, video yeah. game players, uh, hey. professional mermaids <laughs> for kids parties, whatever you want, there's a side gig out there. So it doesn't have to be, you know, something that's super serious of a job. It could be, like you said, a dog walker, someone sure, yeah. who is pretending to be a mermaid and quite literally a person could probably enjoy doing it. it. It could be a side gig that, you know, is more of a hobby, but you're just making money off of it, sure. which is, you know, pretty great. Are there things that people need to consider before starting a side gig? Yeah, I think the communications piece is key. Um, mm -hmm. I always coach people to find something that's tied into passion. Yeah. Because like you're talking about, if you're an accountant who's doing corporate tax returns and auditing 50 hours a week, do you want to go do that another 20 hours on top of that? Right. So that's a recipe for burnout, which we've talked about in the past mm -hmm. year. Uh, find something that you enjoy, that you actually want to go spend time on on the side, and I think that'll be a win-win for you for sure. Yeah, sure. and I think something else that other people may not realize is that you know, there could be a chance that maybe you're not the happiest at your full-time job, yep. so you decide to get a side gig, and you may enjoy that more, and that could probably be an opportunity for growth there. Is, is that a thing, people growing more into their side gig than their full-time job? It is, yeah, and I kind of took that route into communications consulting and running my own business, mm -hmm. so if that's your goal, just to kind of stay dedicated to that, and like I said, keep open lines of communication, work as much as you can on it without yeah. sacrificing your mental health and your family relationship. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, that can definitely be a, a successful formula. Right. And you know, you guys have another Work Happy Happy Hour coming up yep. next week. What is that event going to be all about? Sure, yeah. So this is our first one that's fully sponsored, nice. which is great. Yeah, yeah, we're starting to see some eyeballs on us. Uh, so Legion Bank, huge shout out. Their team's amazing. They do so much work in the community. Uh, our special guest is going to be Julian Watkins. He's an attorney by day. He's a stand-up comedian by night. Wow. So he's got the side gig thing uh -huh. figured out. I'm going to interview him just about tips and tricks, how he's gotten to this point. Uh, we've got music by Heather Hammers, who was there a few months ago. That's mm -hmm. going to be great. Food by A Taste of Bev. I've heard there's going to be tiny little Reuben sandwiches there oh for gosh. free. 
uh, yeah. free food, free <laughs> beer, free networking. It's just a great time. Gosh, every yeah. time you mention this, you really can't beat it. I wish it weren't on a, a work night because exactly. then I yeah. would be there. But I, you know, I have that early morning alarm clock. But that shouldn't stop you all from definitely checking this out. And where is it at again? Yep, Celebrations Event Center. It's okay. in Marion, Illinois, uh, from 5 to 7 o'clock next Wednesday, the 31st. Next Wednesday. Well, if you guys don't have anything coming up and you're looking to network, this sounds like literally the perfect place, like you said, free beer, free food, and a good time. I don't know what more that you can <laughs> ask. Well, thank you so much yep. for joining us on The Breakfast Show, too. I hope that that gave you a little bit of insight if you were thinking about getting a side gig or if you've just, you know, wanted to step into that realm of things. We'll be back in just a bit.